Okay, so this we wanted in slope intercept, given two points. This. We're given a point and perpendicular to this line. You solved it in slope intercept for? Yep. What's wrong? <laughs> it looks crooked. Because that line isn't completely parallel with that line. Oh, yeah. and it should be, but... It is, but it's oriented, so I'm afraid to move it. Yeah. I would have guessed the projector is crooked and... Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Now I'm going to think about that. Well, I think... The no, lines at the bottom. Line. This line right here, see? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, because you can see like the light of the. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. It's yeah. Okay. It's I don't know why it's so crooked, but oh well. I, yeah, I'm sorry. It's all good. I, I, I'm, I'm happy. All right. This time. Yes, it is. It goes through the point two three. It is parallel. if I just said standard form? I don't think so. So, how do I write a, the equation of a parallel line? What do I know about the slope? Same. So, if I solve, if I divide by 4, y equals 3. What is the slope of that line? Zero. Zero. Yes? I see what you're saying. Here. So, y must equal 3. Is that standard form? Yep. No. No. I'm sorry. No. Yes. 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 Standard form is x and y's on the left, numbers on the right, no fractions, and x, what's in front of x can't be made. That is considered standard form because it's 0x. What would happen if I asked for a perpendicular line? Okay. Undeferred. But you, some of you just told me this was, this, this is what you said. It's this line. What is this line? Horizontal. Horizontal. So what's perpendicular? Vertical. How do I write the equation of a vertical line? So it would be x equals 2? Wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes. Just making you think a little bit here. Wait, that was that would be perpendicular. Yes. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to give you an equation of a line, and I'm going to ask you to use your brain. You can also use your calculator if you want. I'll go for it. I can do this. Okay. Good. I want to know. Y equals the absolute value of X plus 2. Is this line symmetric to the X, symmetric to the Y, symmetric to the origin, or all of the above? It's what? I don't think it's the origin. I don't. It didn't it's graph it. It's the y, isn't it? Yeah. It's to the y? I can never tell if it's the origin. So, so if you said it's just like. If, if I could flip this. 
this over and match down here, it would be orange. So do we agree this is y symmetry? Okay. What about this one? Surely you're not going to graph that on your calculator. You tried, yeah. What is that? A circle, isn't it? Okay. Kyle said it's centered to the origin. Do you agree? Yes. I agree. Oh, I agree. I do too. I was going to throw you under the bus. Yeah, it, a circle. Is the center of this circle zero, zero? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Well, so if I have a circle with the center zero, zero, I'm just thinking in my mind. All. Oh. It's probably symmetric to the x axis. And the y axis. And the y axis. Oh. So it's all. Yeah. So if we, if we wouldn't have thought about that, and we just. So we put the y element on one side. And graph. Yeah, you can still graph. Yeah, you can still graph. Yeah, graph the negative. But is it right if it's y equals plus or minus the radical and x squared plus y squared? Would that be what it is? I think it would be negative x squared plus 15. Yeah, that's right. And then it would look like plus I got the. All right, we good with that? All right, now I have a function for you. Uh, I'm going to ask you questions about functions. There's no directions about them. Okay. What is of negative x? Exact same thing. Yes. Yes. Why would it be Because. Well, oh, because it's. <laughs> What is negative f of x? Negative negative x to the fourth plus plus x squared minus four. Oh yes, I can't tell that. I thought that was gonna be fine. Right? What do we do? Okay, why 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 do we do what? Negative what? 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 Since it's negative f, what do we do instead of the negative x? When it's a negative here, I make the entire equation negative. So I went to this equation, made it all negative, and got this. Yep. Oh. Uh, Corbin, what was your question? No, I didn't say it. Okay. Everybody with me? Is this going to say what is up to this? Yeah, that's what it's going to say. Is f of... <laughs> is f of negative x equal to... Negative f of x. Oh. No. No? No. <laughs> Is the function even, odd, or neither? Even. Odd. Either. That's your three choices. Yeah, this 
and this are the same, it is even. All right? If this one and this one are the same, it's odd. If, if these two are the same, it's even. And if these two are the same, it's odd. How's that? Okay? Good with that? All right, I'm going to ask you some questions about another function. Are you ready? Negative three. Negative six. What is F of negative two? What is F of six? Good with those? Okay, now, what if I ask you to graph that function? That function that you're given. How many functions are up there? No, one. There's one function there. One function. Right there. Right? Let's graph it. Let's less than or equal to negative 2. When x is negative 2, what is y? Negative 4. With a what kind of circle? Closed. If, pick a number less than negative 2. That's not less than negative 2. Negative 4. So would negative 4 be negative 8? Yes. So that would be my line? So wait, we're just picking random numbers? No, I picked a number that fit this first piece. Oh, it's, 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 it's. Because it 
is less than negative 2, don't I need an x less than negative 2 to find a point? Yeah, you know, it's people are oh, okay. Well, there's three parts of one point. So that is correct. Okay. I've only graphed the first piece. Okay. Oh, oh, but you're just picking random numbers that, numbers that fit the criteria. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. For the middle piece. For the middle piece. What? Give me a point. Zero. That's not a point. That's a number. Zero. No. Well, we got. For the middle piece. What? One. Negative 2, 5 is an obvious one, isn't it? Well, is it negative 2 at the end? What's at the other end? 6 what? 5. Thank you. What? 5? Oh, wait. Negative 2, 5. Isn't that that piece? Well, zero, zero is not a point. Because when x is zero, didn't you tell me why it was five? Right? Now, ooh, this top one is way the heck up here, isn't it? And it has a closed circle, and it must be a parabola. Right? Is it x squared a parabola? Okay. You good? There is one of those on the test, by the way. All right. And this is all based off of like f of 0, f of n, f of that's a piecewise function. We graphed each piece, didn't we? Okay, can I move on? Well, why was that last one so high up there? Because what the point six thirty six? When x is, I'm not a dude, by the way. When x is 6, what is y? Uh, when x is 6, what is y? 36. That's what point I graph. So that would be way up there. So you could go all the way to 6. Thanks, Brady, I got it. Right, you still didn't have it. <laughs> Into my function. Well, yeah. Okay. Into my function. Did a while ago when we put six in, didn't we say y was thirty six? Yeah. So that's a point. That's like one point. Not like yeah. F. Way up there. So it would be negative two. There's no negative two, negative four though. <laughs> There's no negative two, negative four. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> Negative two, negative four is right yeah, there. Right here. Uh, okay, I can get done with that. Good. All right, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Difference quotient. It will be on the test. You better know how to do it. So we don't have to memorize that. No. Not yet.
find the difference quotient for this function. Did you do that assignment? Probably Yeah, that's probably not the best of that. That might not be a wise decision. Yeah. Well, it looks like I'll get some good practice today. Well, if you, unless you mess it all up and don't know you're doing it wrong. Difference quotient. Is that correct? Then it's minus your original function. Oh, oh it's exactly because it's right. minus the whole function. Do you agree? Yeah. What did this one say again? Find the difference quotient. So this is. that shortcut? Yes. You see, if you had to write it all out and foil it, how long that would take you? Yeah. And you would get lost because you're like, wait, am I over here? Am I over here? Where am I? Okay. I think that I now have 2xh plus h squared Minus 6x, h, mm. all over h. Is that right? <laughs> Take an h out of the top, and it leaves me 2x plus h minus 6. It better. If it doesn't go away, you made a mistake. How's that? Good with this? All right, what is What 
this. Times eleven? I was thinking of eleven squared without the one. Um <laughs> the last thing on the test is what we did yesterday. How was that? Easy. Oh, like that. Easy. Pretty easy. Oh yeah. Well I'm not I'm if Brady doesn't need it. Uh, I think we should go over for a minute. We should go over for a minute. Well the problem is is drawing a picture. Stop the graph. You stopped paying attention, didn't you? Huh? What is this? Oh, oh! I should have told you this is f. This is g. Isn't that six plus two eight? What's f of two? What's g of two? And you add them together. That's what plus. Means. It's that simple. So. What? So what is this? Fog of five. What's G of five? Three. What's F of three? Can you do this? Yes. Can I close this out? Yes. Oh, you're right next. Okay. Okay, that's fine. What was this? Eight. Eight. 